Hey there, and welcome to the shop. In today's video, I would like to introduce you to Blue Demon's cast arc electrode. In this video, we will discuss some of the details of this electrode, some safety concerns and how to deal with them, and a short demonstration of the product. Filler metals are manufactured into different forms and classified into different categories. You can identify the type from the beginning letters. The AWS classification for cast arc is EST. Some of the most popular AWS classifications begin with E for electrode, ER for electrode or rod, R for rod, or B for brazing. In our case, cast arc is an electrode. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry any current and is heated by another source. An example of this would be the TIG welding process. The next letters designate the chemical composition of the filler metal or undiluted weld metal. In our case, the ST indicates the electrode's composition includes mild steel. This makes it a very economical choice for welding cast iron. Cast arc is a nickel-free problem-solving electrode for parts where machinability and appearance are not important. Cast arc is used in the shielded metal arc welding process. It's available in sizes 332nd, 1/8th, and 532nd. This electrode can weld in all positions and utilizes DC electrode positive welding current. Cast arc is used in a wide array of applications. Some of the most common uses are machine bases, motor housings, farm equipment, gears, furnace grates, and exhaust manifolds. Check out Blue Demon's website for more product de details and instructions on using cast arc. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few. You should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket, or long sleeve shirt. I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator, like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. Now that we've covered the safety portion, let's set up a few coupons and I'll demonstrate this product. I'll be right back after I get my gear on. Welcome back. Now that I got my gear on, let me explain what our demonstration will be today. So first off, I have a scrap piece of cast iron with a few grooves cut in it. This will give me some place to test my welding on just to make sure I've got everything synchronized and, and I'm, I'm running my beads good. Our actual test piece will be this exhaust manifold. This, this piece has a few cracks in it. So what I intend on doing is locating the end of one of the cracks and I'll, I'll identify the ends. I'll drill two holes. That'll stop the crack from spreading. Then I'll groove out the crack and, and there's a few good cracks. They're pretty straight actually. So we'll groove that out 
and then we'll, we'll put on our filler metal and uh, get this repaired. Okay, so we are finished padding beads and ready to get to work on our exhaust manifold. I have holes drilled. I've got a groove made in our, in our crack area. Now what I'm going to do is bring up this exhaust manifold to around five to six hundred degrees uh, around there. Really, really not, uh, not, don't have to be super precise. Uh, I am going to hopefully do this in one pass. If I, if I get any porosity or underfill, I will go back and regrind and then go back in there with another rod and, and go again. But hopefully we'll get it up to temperature, make one smooth pass and, uh, and be done with this repair. Okay, so the cast arc ran really well. There might be just a little smidge of underfill right there. I can't really, I think that's some uh, slag I can't get out of there. But uh, I don't see any porosity. Filled, filled it pretty level with the top. Uh, and it done a great job. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today and please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.